Well, it went from a dark and gloomy morning to a rather nice, uh, partly cloudy afternoon with uh, not very much humidity. And I decided that it's time to cook out a little bit. And I'm also looking to decant and do a first process on this bad boy, which uh, has been fermenting for quite long enough that it's stopped bubbling and it's ready to go. And of course, I have helpers. This has been sealed since I put it in here. It's been well over a year. Oh, what is this gonna look like? A little bit of carm yeast on the top. That's pretty uh, pretty standard. But uh, Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. Now I've hit everything with uh, <coughs> a good dose of star sand. Uh, this is a no rinse sanitizer. It's excellent for making hot sauce. I would encourage, if you're going to be doing any of this, get some. All I'm doing now is, <coughs> excuse me, stuff is, the fumes are amazing. Um, all I'm doing now is uh, trying to separate out some of the bigger pulp from the actual bottleable liquid. Just makes the sauce a little smoother. So that's what's left after that process of scraping. Yeah, I'm going to keep that and uh, collect all of this that's left over once I get done with the entire batch. And then this will go into a thin sheet, like a thin parchment sheet in the oven, and I'll dehydrate it. And then this can be a very hot spice. And of course we want to get all the stuff that's on the outside. And that is a sauce that has a rather nice consistency. It 
Ooh, and the heat is toned down. That's actually not bad. Yeah, letting it age for that long is a really good choice. Hmm, okay. Now I just have to do this a whole bunch more times. This is about three and a half hours later. I have 10 1.7 liter bottles and a little bit extra. So I'm gonna say about 18 liters of hot sauce that's ready to be bottled. Now I should go through a final cook off to make sure that there it's not live culture before I put it in bottles. And this is what's left of the solids. It's about the consistency of uh, refried beans. Although it's a really good idea not to confuse them. Well, the dogs are barking because uh, we just saw a bear. Uh, the bear seems to have thought better of hanging around, so he's gone over to the neighbors. Uh, so, excitement! So the hot sauce turns out to be, uh, <clears throat> well, it was better than I was expecting. The last time that I uh, had tried it, before I let it, uh, you know, go through the long ferment, it was way too hot. There was just an immediate heat and basically nothing else other than flavor. Now it's it's kind of mellowed out. And uh, it's got a very lemon ginger back end to it. And it's it's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna try it on some other stuff. It's, it's the kind of thing that I think would fit really well with, you know, if you were having something where you were having a, like a, you know, full bodied red or, a, you know, maybe a, a beer along with something. Uh, you know, something like a summer shandy or you know some sort of an IPA or something like that anyway uh, so and that's done I've got you know more batches but that's the big one that's the one that was you know the big experiment to see if I could do a large batch and it turns out yes so uh, three and a half hours of processing time uh, and that was all me standing and manually doing it so that's not pleasant, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. But anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Uh, I'll probably end up giving them away to friends, but I'm not, I don't know. The initial idea was to maybe try a, maybe try a sales run, but things got delayed and weird, so not right now. Anyway, it's late at night. Well, it's getting late. The bears are out. Um, I'm going to go back in and try and relax for a while. So see you guys. Bear's gone, Popeye. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Piper. Ooh. Ooh.